sure. Here. If I'm not dead, so it's knock back only if not dead yet. Okay, so I don't need all that stuff here. Okay, is that uh, yeah exactly new exactly. Uh, HP HP can't be less than zero because here I'm clamping it. Here, if it's equal to zero, I'm dying anyway. And here, subtract it ten from HP. Let's say I have so I will lower better because there could be some case where I'm colliding more than one enemy at a time so I will the HP will be subtracted twice or thrice <laughs> three times and uh, the HP can it can happen the HP can be lower than zero so I think this one is good enough okay so enemies done any question anything I give you my 10 second lag to answer. <laughs> no, the time to write. And is, is that alright? Coin counters. Oh, set it here. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't need my uh, scene enemies. I will just set them here for the record. I have my enemy here. This one can't be accessed, so I will set it here with a slightly bigger platform. Okay. Here, maybe here. Okay, no problem with the news. I don't see any yes or no's. Let's say there's no no's, it's uh, an untold yes, or I have an awful lag. That's uh, that's possible. Pum 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 pum. I don't have anything that's taking any any process. Mm, dimension yeah 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 I, there is this solution as well but anyway no answer is a positive answer so I will switch to animation 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 is part of the graphic uh, phase graphical phase of your game and uh, the graphical phase of your game is usually not what you do early on because it involves a lot of work of asset creation. But nothing, nothing prevents you from making some crap animation just to test, just to test them. Maybe I have some crap animation somewhere. Don't know where. I will try to see to class, 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 all the PNG resources. Okay, I did make long ago some very crap animations. Uh, I think I've just, uh, I don't know where I put them, and that's not a problem because they were crap. Uh, Maybe it's uh, here. Let's try animation. Well, here maybe run. Let's try these ones. So yeah, you can. Yeah, it's this one. You can create some um, animations. So to import all your animation from in one go, you can do import frames and select all your frames import them, remove the first one which is always blank and you have an animation and uh, here it's a 7 frame animation 
you can preview the animation it's a bit slow so you can change the speed of animation here let's set it to maybe 18 preview it's a bit uh, fast and I want a loop as well so I can it's a bit jumpy uh, and let's try this okay so you can try this animation <laughs> so you have an animation here and you want your animation yeah something uh, you've noticed I think that I created a character uh, player let's call it player animation sprite so why did I why don't I put my animation in the player sprite itself because you don't want weird collisions you really don't want weird collisions the uh, I will use the term here because I tested many kinds of uh, collision shape and the best one is the square the rectangular one because uh, at some point uh, long ago I've made a game where I had the character with the protruding head so I made a collision that extended for the head and you could hang with your head on the platform which was pretty silly and I ended up using just a simple rectangular collision which work always always well so here is what you want now what you want as well I will create an animation group you want your animations to follow your player so set position you can use the pin behavior if you want but I think since the pin behavior requires first to place the object then to pin it so you need two events I just need this one and it's working and uh, the pin doesn't give you uh, an increase in performance I think so here you have an animation following your object a silly animation following your object on the wrong spot so you want to change the origin of your animation origin set to button and you want also to do the same for the whole animation so everything is on the button but you see for instance here that it's not touching the floor here you will have a gap here it's hard to see I will set this collision box to invisible invisible yeah there's a slight gap it's not easy to notice and my flashing animation shouldn't be on my collision box so I will correct that right now that's the problem where you you're not inserting your graphics uh, early enough you tends to do something silly as to do a flash on the collision box so here I just just oh yeah you can do this replace object player animation I like this functionality uh, so now you have your player which is flashing okay so here yeah, there's a slight gap between the feet and uh, the floor so you want to correct your animation frames you can use the arrow keys here it's better and you apply to all animation so you have a, a character that properly runs on the floor so that's the first phase when you usually uh, use animation you put a crap animation in your uh, in your uh, in your game 
once you you are okay with the speed of your player, once you're okay with the scale of your game, once you're okay with uh, everything that can influence the animation, and once you're okay with the, your how your crap animation is timed, how much frame it has, how much uh, uh, the speed, etc., you can start making the real the real deal animation. So I will get my neat animation, the one I use on, uh, I think I put this in this one, and resources here. I will use my walk loop, which is, you will recognize, oh, <laughs> it was an early test. So it's not here. Mm -hmm. Well. Mm. Let's see. Oh no. Well, I'm I'm not sure where I put them, so I will just to show you that uh, you can do exactly the same as me. I will get the the um, the zip I gave you on the start of the game of the of the lesson here. Image and sound of neon platformer. Uh, it's a bit too much, so I will cancel and see where I put. Uh, okay, public class game here. I will unzip it, extract, extract, and I will fetch the right animation. So I will remove all this. I can't remove the last one. Import frames here, and it's here. Image, character, walk. So you recognize now my uh, character. It's uh, 3D rendered here, and you can preview the animation. To uh, get a bit faster, I will just fetch my uh, former uh, uh, parameters. So, work, work, work. Uh, I had eight uh, frames. Okay, it's the same, and it was eighteen. I have my the non platformer capix opened and the, the other screen. So I can cheat because I knew it was a slow process. So now it's the speed in the game you can see on the arcade. Now the other thing, thing you want to do is to position the uh, pivot point. You imagine the collision will be um, will start here and will be uh, evenly on each side of the origin point. So you have to uh, to put the 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 points where you think it will be better, and then you apply to whole animations because my frames are s properly synced on the left right position to be correct. Uh, yeah, maybe like this uh, whole animation, and you can uh, just to be on the safe side, you can put the, the position a little bit on the top here not exactly on the on the pixel of the foot but l slightly on the top so you are sure there's no ga gap okay so then once again all animation here and I will set it back to the proper scale and let's see what happens when I launch the game uh, I have tons, tons, tons of things opened here. Yeah. Okay, it's working decently, and I will re, re put the zoom uh, correctly. Okay. Ah, good question, Luke. I won't use auto crop, uh, the cropping uh, system you can use here. I won't use it 
until uh, where it is crop transparent edges 